Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be diving into a topic that can be a bit of a head scratcher for some folks, fault code POOB7, also known as low engine coolant flow or performance. Now, this code can pop up for a variety of reasons, and it's important to understand what those reasons are so you can diagnose and fix the problem effectively. In this video, we'll be breaking down the code itself, exploring the potential causes behind it, and walking you through some troubleshooting steps you can take to get your engine running smoothly again. So, whether you're a seasoned mechanic or just starting to get your hands dirty under the hood, Stick around and let's tackle this code together. The POOB7 fault code indicates a problem with the engine coolant flow. This code can be triggered by a variety of issues, including a clogged coolant passage, a faulty water pump, or a malfunctioning thermostat. There are several possible causes of the POOB7 fault code. These include, clogged coolant passage. A clogged coolant passage can restrict the flow of coolant through the engine leading to overheating. This can be caused by a buildup of rust, scale, or other debris. Faulty water pump. The water pump is responsible for circulating coolant through the engine. If the water pump is faulty, it may not be able to circulate enough coolant, leading to overheating. Malfunctioning thermostat. The thermostat regulates the flow of coolant through the engine. If the thermostat is malfunctioning, it may not open or close properly leading to overheating or overcooling. Low coolant level. If the coolant level is low, there may not be enough coolant to circulate through the engine, leading to overheating. Air in the cooling system. Air in the cooling system can create air pockets that can block the flow of coolant, leading to overheating. Faulty coolant temperature sensor. The coolant temperature sensor sends a signal to the engine control unit, ECU, about the temperature of the coolant. If the sensor is faulty, it may send an incorrect signal to the ECU, which can lead to the POOB7 code being triggered. If you are experiencing the POOB7 fault code, it is important to diagnose the problem as soon as possible. This can be done by taking the following steps. Check the coolant level. The first step is to check the coolant level in the radiator. If the coolant level is low, add more coolant to the system. Inspect the cooling system for leaks. Next. Inspect the cooling system for any leaks. Leaks can occur in the hoses, radiator, or water pump. Check the thermostat. The thermostat can be checked by removing it from the engine and placing it in a pot of boiling water. If the thermostat opens when it is heated, it is working properly. Test the water pump. The water pump can be tested by checking the flow of coolant from the pump. If the flow is weak, the pump may be faulty. Check the coolant temperature sensor. The coolant temperature sensor can be checked by using a multimeter to measure the resistance of the sensor. The resistance should change as the temperature of the sensor changes. Once you have diagnosed the problem, you can fix the POOB7 fault code by repairing or replacing the faulty component. This may involve flushing the cooling system. If the coolant passage is clogged, you will need to flush the cooling system to remove the debris. Replacing the water pump. If the water pump is faulty, you will need to replace it. Replacing the thermostat. If the thermostat is malfunctioning, you will need to replace it. Adding coolant. If the coolant level is low, you will need to add more coolant to the system. Bleeding the cooling system. If there is air in the cooling system, you will need to bleed the system to remove the air. Replacing the coolant temperature sensor. If the coolant temperature sensor is faulty, you will need to replace it. The POOB7 fault code is a serious problem that can lead to engine damage if it is not addressed. If you are experiencing this code, it is important to diagnose and fix the problem as soon as possible. The POOB7 code can manifest itself in a variety of ways, but some of the most common symptoms include, engine overheating. This is the most obvious symptom and it can be caused by a number of factors, including a lack of coolant, a faulty thermostat, or a clogged radiator. Reduced engine power. If the engine is not getting enough coolant, it can't operate at its full potential. This can lead to a noticeable decrease in power, especially when accelerating. Rough idle. A rough idle can be caused by a number of things, 
but it can also be a symptom of the P-O-O-B-7 code. This is because the engine is not getting enough coolant to keep it running smoothly. Check engine light. The check engine light is a general warning light that can be triggered by a number of different problems, including the P-O-O-B-7 code. If you see the check engine light come on, it's important to have the code diagnosed by a qualified mechanic. Diagnosing the P-O-O-B-7 code can be a bit tricky as there are a number of different things that can cause it. However, there are a few things you can do to narrow down the possibilities. Check the coolant level. The first thing you should do is check the coolant level in your car. If the coolant level is low, it could be causing the P-O-O-B-7 code. Inspect the thermostat. The thermostat is responsible for regulating the engine's temperature. If the thermostat is faulty, it could be causing the engine to overheat which could trigger the P-O-O-B-7 code. Check the radiator. The radiator is responsible for cooling the engine coolant. If the radiator is clogged, it could be preventing the coolant from circulating properly, which could also trigger the P-O-O-B-7 code. Use a scan tool. A scan tool can be used to read the trouble code stored in your car's computer. This can help you to identify the specific cause of the P-O-O-B-7 code. The repair for the P-O-O-B-7 code will vary depending on the underlying cause. However, some of the most common repairs include, adding coolant, if the coolant level is low. Simply adding more coolant may be all that is needed to fix the problem. Replacing the thermostat, if the thermostat is faulty, it will need to be replaced. Flushing the radiator, if the radiator is clogged, it will need to be flushed. Repairing or replacing the water pump, the water pump is responsible for circulating the coolant through the engine. If the water pump is faulty, it will need to be repaired or replaced. If you are not comfortable performing these repairs yourself, you should take your car to a qualified mechanic.